Right, there's the copse where there's a farmhouse and the first lot of cows that I met this morning. They are now in the other side of the stile where I'd seen them before in the shade. There they are. Now they were alright with me and they had babies. It was the cows further over that were the problem. Anyway, the walk continues towards Draycott's lights. There's a few more vehicles around now. It's time to pick kids up from school, I expect. It's going on for three. It might even be three. Nice and warm. There's a gentle breeze. Yes, it's one minute past three. So I've got, in theory, the last bus goes in just under five hours. This gives me a leisurely time, but I want to do it in four. I'll probably do it in even in three. I'm allowing three hours a leisurely pace with extra, just in case, because you don't know you get diverted. Say I come across another set of cows. And I have to do a diversion, that's what takes the time. I mean, last time I had to climb right up on the Mendips again. I was in a valley, I had to climb right up to a high peak. So that took like an hour out of me time. And I might have to do it today. Yeah, oh no, they are still on that side. There's the cows. They are still on this side, yeah. It's just the angle I was coming at. Still shading themselves up. Yeah, they were all right. Yeah, I've walked a long, long way, but I don't mind. I've never done this before. I mean, I might have done in a car. I'm not saying I've never been on this road before. But I might have done it on a car. Now, a bloke said to me, there was a road like this where after I got stuck and I had to climb over a barbed wire fence this morning and then out over a crumbly wall. This cyclist helped me down. And the road was like this, like a lane. Now, I don't know any lane that goes back to Cheddar that looks like that. I reckon that would have ended up onto the A371, which is a quite a main road. But this is beautiful. I'm starting to see the back of the air strip, the glider club. There's um, Brent Knoll coming into view now, right over there. Somewhere. I can't hardly see because my eyes are playing up, but Brent Knoll's over there somewhere. Familiar reference points. The sun is so hot on my skin. Oh, it's just beautiful. I can see the skylarks. Oh, they could even be swallows. Hello. Hello, little birdies. That's a swallow. That was a swallow, lots of swallows. Look at them all, playing and dancing in the field. I do love this. This is warm. Bones are warm. I mean, it's good. This is just, this is hot, but it's not going to be as hot as tomorrow and we've got apparently 30 degrees coming. Now I have been out in that sort of weather, of course I have. But the thing is, See, I walked across those fields earlier today. It was lovely. All the way across those fields. But I deliberately wanted to come on this lane, so I pick up the track up on Dr Draycott Slights above the airfield. I'm walking down towards the airfield now, which um, Zara was talking about, where a man who 
has something to do with that airfield spotted the UFO spotted the UFO so we're getting close to it now like I said it's just so beautiful I got the, I haven't even done the other put any of the other videos I've done yet for the last couple of outings I got to start doing some tree work I pay for it I keep doing what I call living tree which are my beautiful sunset walks my explorations to other places like Wells that's all been done now and put on YouTube and Facebook Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Thank you. They were going to give me a lift. It's just beautiful. This is just so beautiful. That bloke's been up and down several times. They might think I'm a spy. Here we are, here's a hangar here of the Mendip Gliding Club. And over there, don't know what they do about the sheep, but that's the runway. That's the runway over there. Look, you can land your, you want to land your plane there. It's got a bloody gun in it though. So I won't, don't worry, I'm walking in there anyhow. Some cows in there. Cows and sheep. <sighs> yeah, Glastonbury, I'll be all quiet. Just the people cleaning up now. Yeah. Like I said, I think there was a shadow over it this year. There just didn't seem that feeling in the air this year. I think someone even suggested they have this festival somewhere else, but then it wouldn't be Glastonbury, would it? See, so that's an old track up there, look. Mendip Gliding Club. Old first bus, look, double decker. This is an active airfield which you enter at your own risk. The club cannot expect responsibility for loss, damage, or injury. Please be aware that gliders can approach virtually silently from any direction without warning. Ah. Right, so this is New Lane or New Road going down to Draycott. And I'm going to be climbing up on that hill in a minute to go back towards Cheddar to make it a proper day's walk out so I've done pretty I've walked across some of the fields like there I walked all across there earlier it was beautiful done all that now all I'm doing now is looking for a way in and if, if there's a way in here I'm getting in here otherwise I might have to come across cows again See, look, all the cows are frisky, don't they? They all look lively. And the sheep. I'm going to take some pictures so I'm going to walk down there but I might be able to get into a field in a minute probably not this field further down just further down over and out <laughs> <laughs> 